Hey, it's Lester Martin again. I got asked the same question, two different people today, twice the same question. Lester, can I access Starburst from my Databricks environment? I said, well, probably so, you know, especially since it's a notebook and just do what we do with our notebooks. Um, so I went ahead and I said, look, I'll go grab this pre-existing uh, Jupyter notebook I created previously that does some uh, windowing functions and whatnot. So I downloaded that. I spun up my Databricks uh, Community Edition environment. I did a file import, brought that same uh, notebook up in here, and I ran a couple of the cells. I ran the pip install for Pi Starburst, worked just fine. I ran uh, some credential setting stuff, yep, and then I created my session, and then validating it by just doing a kind of a bogus query. Sure, that ran. I went ahead and did a little few other things, built another. A data frame from uh, the fully qualified table called astronauts and dumped it on the screen pretty ugly looking it's pretty wide so just did it again and said hey look let's look at that again and maybe this time run uh, select and a rename and a filter and some sorts and that kind of stuff and dump it on the screen it looks it looks perfect in fact I can go see it over here in uh, starburst galaxy let's swing that over look in my insights page uh, refresh these are those queries, and in fact, I'll run one more while I got everyone here on the recording. Let's, uh, let's just give myself another cell here. Let's just say session dot um, table table, and I'll go ahead and just make it easy. Uh, TPCH dot tiny dot nation, something real small, and uh, let's do a sort on the field name. I think there's a field called name sort name, and we'll do a show see what happens and run that thing run that cell hopefully that comes back oh there we go you know let's see if the sort off because maybe I don't remember the names uh, and run it again let's just go grab it and dump it on the screen there one two three I'll show up in a second there they are it was name I think I need to put the double quotes around it and let's go look at the starburst galaxy query history do a quick refresh and should we see it there it is. There's our select all from tiny offset zero limit 10, that kind of good stuff. So absolutely, we can run Starburst code, Starburst's data frame API code right out of a Databricks notebook like we could run it out of any notebook. Hope that was helpful. Bye.